venture into the twilight world of the ghoul, a mysterious nocturnal creature dwelling in the realms of folklore and shadow. Ghouls, often misunderstood, inhabit the fringes of the living and the dead, surviving in solemn solitude. Join us as we explore a day in the life of a ghoul, revealing the unseen and the untold of these enigmatic beings of the night. In the ethereal glow of the moon, the ghoul awakens from its day-long slumber. It resides in an ancient, decrepit crypt, far removed from the bustling cities of the living. The ghoul is a creature of the night, condemned to a twilight existence on the fringes of the living and the dead. As the last rays of the sun fade, the ghoul stirs. Its appearance is haunting, pallid, almost translucent skin stretched over a skeletal frame and deep, sunken eyes that glimmer with an unnatural light. These eyes, adapted to the darkness, scan the horizon as it prepares for its nocturnal activities. The ghoul's first task is to survey its territory. It moves with a grace that belies its macabre nature, drifting through the shadows of the graveyard that serves as its home. This graveyard, long forgotten by the world of the living, is a place where time seems to stand still. The gnarled trees, the weathered tombstones, and the overgrown paths all speak of an age gone by. As the ghoul traverses this silent domain, it listens intently to the whispers of the night. Its ears, attuned to the slightest sound, pick up the rustling of leaves, the scurrying of small nocturnal creatures, and the distant hoot of an owl. The ghoul is a solitary creature, but it is not alone in this world of darkness. Other denizens of the night roam freely, each absorbed in their own mysterious endeavors. The ghoul's primary pursuit is the search for sustenance. Its diet is a morbid necessity, the remnants of the dead. It is drawn to places steeped in death and decay, ancient battlefields, forgotten mass graves, and abandoned mortuaries. As it scavenges, it maintains a respectful silence, a solemn acknowledgement of the dead. Eventually, the ghoul locates its macabre meal. In the secluded corner of an ancient battlefield, it uncovers the remnants of a long-forgotten soldier, the bones partially buried under the earth. The ghoul approaches with a sense of reverence, its actions not born of malice, but of survival. It begins to feed, a silent ritual performed under the watchful eyes of the moon. The act is swift and efficient, with the ghoul consuming what it needs to sustain its cursed existence. There is no joy in this feeding, only the fulfillment of an essential need. The ghoul treats the remains with a somber respect, an acknowledgement of the cycle of life and death it is bound to. As it feeds, the ghoul is momentarily connected to the memories of the past, echoes of lives long gone. This connection is fleeting, a transient bridge between the living and the dead. The ghoul, in its unique way, becomes a guardian of these forgotten histories, a keeper of the secrets that lie buried beneath the earth. With its hunger sated, the ghoul continues its nocturnal wanderings. It crosses paths with other creatures of the night. Spectral apparitions, lost souls, and even other ghouls inhabit this shadowy realm. These encounters are usually fleeting, silent communications that acknowledge each other's presence in a world that exists parallel to that of the living. Despite its grim nature, the ghoul is not a malevolent entity. It harbors no ill will towards the living. In fact, it goes to great lengths to avoid human contact. Its existence is a lonely one, shrouded in secrecy and isolation. On the rare occasions when it is sensed by a living soul, a chill down someone's spine or a fleeting shadow caught in the corner of an eye, the ghoul retreats into the darkness, ever elusive. As the night progresses, the ghoul may venture beyond its usual haunts. It traverses through forgotten paths, crossing into the outskirts of towns and cities. Here, it observes the living from a distance, a silent witness to the ebb and flow of human life. The ghoul feels a profound sense of detachment, 
a poignant reminder of its own cursed existence. In these urban fringes, the ghoul is careful to avoid detection. It moves like a whisper, its presence barely perceptible. The world of the living holds many dangers for a creature like the ghoul, and it is wary of anything that might threaten its secretive life. As dawn approaches, the ghoul senses the impending arrival of the sun. Its body, intolerant to the light of day, urges it to return to the safety of its lair. The ghoul retraces its steps, moving through the dissipating darkness, back to the graveyard that is both its sanctuary and prison. Upon reaching its crypt, the ghoul settles into a state of dormancy. Its body becomes still, almost statue-like, as it conserves energy for the next night. In this state, the ghoul reflects on its existence, a melancholic contemplation of its eternal sentence to wander the night. The ghoul's life is a cycle of solitude and survival, an endless repetition of nocturnal wanderings. It is a being caught between worlds, belonging fully to neither. In the realm of the living, it is a ghostly myth, a creature of folklore and superstition. In the realm of the dead, it is a guardian, a silent keeper of the secrets of the past. As the ghoul waits for the night to return, it remains a poignant symbol of the intersection of life and death, a reminder of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows of our world. Its existence, though shrouded in darkness, is a testament to the enduring nature of the supernatural, a lingering echo of the unknown that haunts the periphery of human understanding. Thank you for joining us on this nocturnal journey into the life of the ghoul. If you enjoyed this exploration of the unknown and wish to journey further into the realms of folklore and the supernatural, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support inspires us to continue uncovering the mysteries that lie in the shadows of our world.